How many times have you seen celebrities like Cher or Diana Ross, Bernadette Peters, Brooke Shields, and wish you could have had their glamour for just a day, well, maybe even a minute? Well, here's the man who helps create that bigger-than-life image, world-famous fashion designer, Bob Mackey. It's really exciting having you here. And once I saw the clothes hanging up in the makeup room, oh, it really got exciting then. You're in town for a fashion show right. at Bell Harbor. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow evening, which benefits? It benefits the, uh, here we go. The University of Miami uh, School of Medicine can Comprehensive Cancer Center. And, and you said it really is a good cause. It's wonderful. It's, uh, it's an umbrella ca uh, charity that, that overlooks many different cancer charities, and all the money goes directly to them. It doesn't pay for a lot of frivolous things. Now, on to what people really know you for. Tell us. Give us a scoop. What's going to be in this spring? What are in your fashions? Well, it, fashion is very strange this spring. It's, we really have made a change from about a year ago. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of poofing and a lot of that has happened, but at the same time, a close of change. They're, they're definitely shorter. There's no no getting around it now. Uh, colors are brighter. There's a lot more romantic kind of flower prints and things like that. Let's take a look at some of your designs. Okay, fine. Now this is a little daytime suit, which uh, doesn't tell you that much, but it, at the same time, it, it tells you it, there's a lot of sort of fun, even in a daytime kind of situation. Wow! Look at those colors. You were yeah. You really hit on the color. head with those colors. I love color. I think people that live in the southern climates, you know, really, they go for the color more than in, more than people that live in the north. You had mentioned in your biography that what you really like to do is make glamour for not just the stars, but for anyone. Now, in the fashions we're seeing here. Can anyone wear fashions I, like this? I don't know why not. You know, you just, uh, why not? Well, it's one thing to see something like this on a beautiful model, but, but can people fit into designs like this? Will it flatter just about Well, this anyone? is very flattering, actually. This is a little file cocktail suit, and as you can see, this is one of those things, if a woman has a little extra hip, she can still feel very chic and very kind of uh, gorgeous and sophisticated, and yet, you know, maybe be a little bigger than, than she wishes she were. Yeah, I was uh, asking the models before the show, what's it like to model Bob Mackey's designs? And they said, it's just, it's different than any other designer because when you walk in the room, people know that's a Bob Mackey design. Yeah, it's well, glamorous. I hope so. This one's kind of fun. This is taking the, the, the denim dresses you see around town, you know, the, the little jackets. And I did a whole group of these and I beaded them on chiffon. And if you notice, there's a little pocket. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. But uh, it's, it's, it's done fun. exactly like a jeans dress. It's glamorous, but it's really fun. Yeah, this is a dress to have a good time in. This is not exactly a, a black tie event dress. When I met you, I was really surprised because uh, reading your biography, you have so many accomplishments. I mean, the movies. I counted the TV credits. There were at least 37, 40. And you look so young for having you accomplished have a long gray so beard, huh? much. Well, you, we're talking about a lot of accomplishments. You started. Well, I, I started in in '63, and uh, then in '64 happened. The, the Beatles came, and if you looked young at that time, you got all the jobs in Hollywood as a designer. And I had the right haircut and the right suit. So oh I, come on, you got the jobs got because the, you looked young. At first, I did, and you had to deliver eventually. Yeah, know. yeah. Oh, we we have somebody new. Oh, are they back already? Oh, yes, they're back. They change quickly. They do. This is regal. That's the first. This is a that black crepe mind. evening gown, and it has huge sort of uh, rose gardenia kind of flowers on the shoulder that are all beaded in white. I think it's a very pretty way to look, and a, and a comfortable way. Women that have this dress say, you know, it's they feel good in it, yet they don't feel uncomfortable. How do you create an image? You're creating an image when when you try to design something like this, aren't you? Well, I think so. You know, women, why do people wear clothes? They wear clothes because that, that's how they want to be perceived. Otherwise, they'd walk around in, you know, mouth jackets and live in, you know, Siberia. <laughs> now, this, this is creating an image for sure. It's, uh, yeah. this is an all red beaded dress, a very sexy dress. Uh, one that, obviously, if a woman wore this, she want, wants to be noticed. Oh, people really, when, when they hear your name, they say, he's the fella that does all those designs for Cher. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, you know, she has a habit of creating controversy, and uh, I, I can't. And help, I guess you I can't do help it all without you. I can't help myself. You know, she comes to me and she says, "I want to do something for this event or that event," and, and <laughs> you know, I just, I can't resist. And I suppose the sky is the limit when, with what she's willing to wear and, or not wear. Uh, yeah, or yes. not wear. Right. The latest is the David Letterman outfit, which everyone still asks me about. Right? Well, and I didn't see the David well, Letterman. Well, it was outfit. it was a lot of holes and things, and I did it for ten years ago. You know, I did see a picture of that. Uh, shocking, I did see it. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now here's another 
this is sort of a signature with me, that, that all over jewel gown. That, uh... And when I saw this hanging on a hanger, this is what brought up the uh, whole bit with Cher because you are creating an image with this. It almost looks like you have nothing on underneath. Right. It just sequins. You're just, your but body's you're, draped in, in sequins. But you are also. dressed underneath. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you don't have to look like Cher or, or have her chutzpah to be able to wear no, something like no. that. No, no. Some people say, well, we have to be so skinny to wear your clothes. And I said, well, we make everywhere from a size you know, four to uh, 16, 18, sometimes 20. So, you know, you don't have to be a tiny little stick. Well, enjoy your stay in South Florida. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And you. I'm very impressed with your fashion. I'm going to be it's at Martha's fun. on Monday, if anyone would like to, in Bal Harbor, if anyone wants to come in and say hello. Great. Okay, thanks. Coming up, we're going to help you get ready for the weekend. Sounds like fun. <laughs> stay with us.